Hey all Brandon here with another Be Free Builds cargo camper update. This time I finally finished the front cabinets. This is one I've been putting off for a while since I've never built a cabinet before and my carpentry skills are pretty mediocre. But these cabinets definitely need some faces. I've had quite a few comments suggesting putting the fridge on a slide out, so I decided to take that advice. The first thing I'm going to start with is the drawers. First, I built a frame for the drawer slides and installed it here. Then I added another stud on the right side for the upper drawer. I built a pretty simple drawer for the fridge and dry fit it in. It leaves just enough room for the slides on the side. Adding the drawer slides was as easy as screwing these in on each side. The hardest part was keeping them aligned and level. I played a little Django with some wood scraps to help prop up the drawer as I install it to the slides. Don't mind me as I strip this screw head. This thing works pretty well. It seems sturdy with an empty fridge. Here's hoping it can handle a full one. I made a nearly identical drawer for above the fridge. I installed these drawer slides just like the previous ones. Trying to keep them level was most of the work. Here's the second game of Jenga I played to get this drawer installed. All in all, it worked out pretty well for the first time building a drawer. Now, onto the cabinet faces. I used plywood cut into a few sections for these cabinet doors, spacers, and drawers. First things first is a few rounds of sanding on each section. Once they were all sanded down, it's time to paint. This definitely took a lot longer than I thought it would.
I gave the front face of each cabinet two coats. After the paint on the front dried, I give the back sides a quick coat. These will be the inside of the doors and drawers, so they only need a light coat. It's pretty cool working out here at night with the back of the trailer open. I'll probably install a screen here eventually. That'll make it really easy to sleep with the doors open. Now for a final dry fit of all these cabinet faces before I attach them. I'm starting with the most straightforward section, which is these cabinet doors. First, I attach the hinges to the doors. While attaching these cabinet faces, I use a little spacer at the bottom to ensure I have decent clearance. The carpentry wasn't perfect, but they still work really well. The other cabinet was a quick install, just like the first two. The drawers were a bit tougher since I had to install the face to the walls of the drawer. I'm sure there's a much better way to attach these, but simply screwing them in gets the job done for now. Maybe at some point I'll putty them over and paint them. I added handles to each drawer and door. Then I added the magnetic door catches.
And with that, these cabinets are done, mostly. I'll probably come back with a little touch-up work on them, but they look much better than they did before, and they work really well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.